Conflict in Mamelodi that's continuing today. We've been watching the story developing more and more between the buses and the taxis. Um, our reporter there, Patricia Fasahi, is in Mamelodi. Patricia, I hope you can hear us. What is the situation there this morning? Good morning, Leanne, and to our viewers. Well, I'm standing at the Dennerboom uh, taxi rank in the heart of uh, Mami Lodi. And Leanne, normally around this time, you would see a lot of taxis lining up, getting ready to obviously fare the various commuters to their various destinations. And today, it's quite a different picture that we see here at the taxi rank. It is quite empty. Just a few taxis uh, here and there, having few operators that are sitting in the taxis. Um, some of them that we did speak, speak to saying that uh, they're not uh, operating Operating. Of course, are they supporting uh, the boycott, but they're waiting to hear from their leaders as to what is uh, the way forward. Meanwhile, we also spoke to some of the commuters who are walking through uh, the taxi ranks, some of them really expressing uh, their dissatisfaction with the whole situation, saying that they have been inconvenienced severely since very early this morning. We spoke to a gentleman just a while ago who said that he had to walk for about an hour just to get to the station because of of uh, the lack of taxis that are that 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 is uh uh, uh, observed today here in uh, Mami Lodi. So it is quite a very tense situation. But while that continues, uh, Leanne, the Autopax buses, uh, on the other hand, they continue to operate under heavy police escort, as expected, of course. And uh, the uh, taxi owners that we also spoke to this morning saying uh, that they're sticking to their guns, that they will not move their vehicles until the impounded taxis uh, that, uh, of course, was seized earlier this week during Operation Fiela that intensified in the area until they get back their taxis. Now we saw Operation Fiela uh, um, confiscating or rather impounding about uh, 60 taxis on Monday and uh, Tuesday and this of course have left the local taxi bosses fuming saying that uh, this is a uh, this is a sign of abuse of power from the path uh, from the side of uh, law enforcement officials who impounded those vehicles saying that they have documents that prove that uh, the, the, the vehicles that were impounded uh, do have the, the necessary documentation because we asked some of the, um, the Metro Police officials who impounded the vehicles what were some of the reasons that led to the uh, vehicles being impounded and they said the vehicles did not have, some of the vehicles did not have uh, the necessary permits, yeah. uh, some of them with stolen vehicles and yesterday we saw some of the bosses showing us documentation that some of the vehicles that indeed were impounded actually do have permits so they're not okay. sure what exactly is the problem and all hence right. today they actually have a total shutdown departing those vehicles to return yeah all right i mean patricia when we look around you i mean they're, they're, they're from our angle that we've got there they're, they're absolutely no commuters what alternative transport are they using because i mean uh, between buses and taxis that's those are the two main modes of transport there how are people actually getting to work? Of course, the buses are operating, as I said, under heavy uh, police escort. The trains are also still operating. But of course, you would know the taxis are the links between the other uh, transport modes. So some people told us that they had to walk to the station. Uh, some are using the buses. Some have actually gotten lifts from uh, other people, like maybe relatives and friends, to get from point A to B. But the majority of people are saying that they have been inconven inconvenienced severely. Uh, they don't have transport. A lot of them saying that uh, they they won't be able to get to work today. We also spoke to a gentleman that's actually transporting uh, school children, and he said he will not be able to transport the school children to school this morning, um, as he is a taxi uh, driver and he is not allowed to operate. And of course, you know, it is a situation that can turn out of control if you do not stand in solidarity with uh, the rest of uh, uh, the, the taxi operators. So, of course, they, he said to me they have to stand together. They have to support the mandate that they got from uh, their top structures not to operate to down tools today. So he said it's unfortunate that a lot of school children will also uh, be inconvenienced. And, of course, that goes for the thousands of commuters that are hit hard today as a result of uh, this uh, boycott. And... Um, 
we, we spoke to some people yesterday and they said uh, about 60% of uh, Mami Lodi residents rely on a taxi. So you can imagine how many people are left stranded today, Leanne. Indeed, indeed. Patricia Vasaki, thank you very, very much for that update. We will get another one from you as the morning progresses. Let's take a